Okay, so if you found this, you're probably looking at how to remove this pinion nut retainer on a Dodge Ram. And what the hell is it and why? Anyway, just a little background. There was a point in time when the pinion nuts were coming loose and it was causing some catastrophic um, failures of the differential. And of course, um, it was it was bad. The drive shaft would fall off, and uh, it would it was a it was a big mess. So there was a safety recall, and what Chrysler did was to analyze everyone, make see if the uh, they thought it was loose, and if they needed a diff rebuild, and if not, to put this crazy contraption on. I don't know why they just to put like a nylock or put a um, a nut with a stake. But anyway, they got this crazy thing. So you're probably looking at it and saying, what are those? Those are two Allen 332 hex um, uh, bolt nuts, bolt, whatever I call it. Anyway, those get tightened up and it causes that ring to expand. Now, once that's tightened up, it's a bear to get out. So let me show you how to make that real easy. First off, you're going to remove the two 332 Allens. Now, very, very important. This is tight. Um, you must be careful not to strip these out. So, they're probably rusted if they're anything like mine. So, when you get your, try to um, put it in here to loosen it, Take and tap your hex key or Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it, so that you can get a good, nice, um, flat bite in there and then loosen up. Now, to get this out, originally in the man in the bulletin, it showed to use a, a pair of snap ring pliers to put it in, and that was it. So, I'm going to show you how I get them out. And this is my own, my own design. Now, this is an M5 by 0 .08 pitch uh, bolt. I have no idea why they have metric threads with a standard, um, you know, wrench size. But when I took the pins out, went to the hardware store, M5 fit the best. So, anyway, take these two in here. And I'm going to take a slide hammer and just pull them out. And ta-da, it's off. So you can see the craziness of this thing. I'm sure you could probably drill through it or whatever, but I plan to reuse it because it actually uh, is a good thing to have. So anyway, it's M5 by 0 0.08 thread, and you just kind of snug it in. Don't go too far because it'll start making it tighter. And um, I think I got 25 or 30 millimeter length. And pull it out with a uh, slide hammer, and life is good. Bye.